Hey, what's up, everyone? So I want to talk to you guys about how you can create game music. I think this video game channel is very good for that. So I want to teach you guys how you can create music. It's much like that creative endeavor with Minecraft and many of those other awesome things that are out there. So I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit, but this is GarageBand in the iPad. And basically with GarageBand, you can create a whole bunch of different songs. Um, I have created a lot of songs through GarageBand, I'll be honest with you guys. So I want to show you just how easy it really is to create some epic music. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create an epic song real quick. Then you guys can know exactly what it takes to create your own gaming music that's going to rock the world or create this sound that's going to sound absolutely amazing in just a couple minutes. So here we go. So as you can see, it's very easy. Little halo type sound there. Really pretty, well pretty's not a good word here, but really nice music. And this is on an iPad using GarageBand. All right, so as you can see, that's very simple when it comes to music creation and what you can try to do on the music creation side. So what I wanna do over here is just show you how you can add def uh, to your song. So for instance, we have our song here. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna click the strings and then we're gonna add on to the song. I'm gonna add some ba bass and a cello and here we go. go deep there. So as you can see, it's really easy to create this epic song. So let's hear it one last time with everything together. And, um, you'll see that you have a very cinematic type song that you can create. And I like this because it's like Minecraft, but it's on the music side of things. You can create just so many different types of songs that can go deep into it. For instance, on this one, we got a modern, where you can actually change it to pop, cinematic. So let's, let's jump this to cinematic because we're trying to create a cinematic song over here. So I'm just gonna go right here, guys. Um, click cinematic, just to add that extra depth to it. You can also go a little bit deeper. So for instance, let's see what that sounds like in comparison, but first I want you guys to take a listen to the main. absolutely amazing music so then we can go over here and then we can go back to the string and we can go into the different note mode so this is the sound you're going to get very murky or you can go cello 
I call this Halo music. Kind of holds that halo sound. So you could add a little bit more depth to your song if you wanted to right here. And we would just click here and go with that. So I hope that, guys, that helps you out. So let's listen to our finished piece. And you can obviously make this go on and on and on, but I want you guys to hear what we just created. So that's how you guys can create some music on just having an iPad and GarageBand. And all you do that you save your song, clicking that button right there, but there are, your songs are right there. Want to create a new song, hit that little plus sign at the upper top area of GarageBand. When you hit the plus sign, it takes you back to strings. You can also do audio and some other things. Um, one of the neat things there is, but I, I'm just going to hold off on that, guys, because I want you guys to have the opportunity to go create some stuff. So it's GarageBand, the iPad. Every iPad has it. Go out there and create some amazing music using the strings instruments there. Please click subscribe to this channel, and I will talk to you guys later.